Hello everyone, my name is Alex and I'm one of the expert IELTS teachers here at e2language.com. If you clicked on this video, it's probably because you want to or you need to work on your grammar. And that's what we're going to do in this writing clinic. We're gonna work on complex sentences and I promise it's actually not that complex. So let's get started. Today's lesson, I'm gonna show you the difference between a simple compound and a complex sentence. And then we're just gonna do a stack of practice. So even though it may be a little daunting at the moment, sounds scary, complex sentences, subordinating conjunctions, we're gonna do so much practice by the end, you will be an absolute grammar weapon. So why do we need to look at complex sentences and subordinating conjunctions? Well, if you're preparing for the IELTS test, this is a really important part of your score, not just in writing, but in speaking as well. But I'm gonna focus on the writing part here. Here's the criteria, you've seen this a million times. On the right is the gram grammatical range and accuracy criterion. Band seven requires that you use a variety of complex structures. So you must use a variety of complex structures to score band seven and up. And a big problem for people is down here at band four, where it says uses only a very limited range of structures and only rare use of subordinate clauses. So this begs the question, doesn't it? What is a complex structure? Well, a complex structure contains a subordinate clause. So what is a subordinate clause? Well, let's deal first with this question. What is a clause? Basically a clause is a chunk of language and this chunk of language has a subject and a verb, at least a subject and a verb like this. She runs. He drives a car. They live in a large house. All of these chunks of language have a subject and a verb, and sometimes a little bit of extra stuff as well. And these are all full sentences, complete thoughts. These are called independent clauses. They don't need anything else to make sense. There are other clauses like this, because she runs when he drives a car although they live in a large house. So again, we've got a subject and a verb, but here we've got an extra word, because, when, although, and now the sentences, well, they're not really sentences, they don't make sense. These are subordinate clauses. There's a subject and a verb and another word, a subordinating conjunction. Let's see one more type. Who runs, which he drives, where they live. These are still clauses because there's a subject and a verb, but they start with a relative pronoun, who, which, where. So these are relative clauses. So a complex sentence contains a language chunk that starts with a subordinating conjunction or a relative pronoun. Now we're gonna come back to this, so don't worry just yet. Let's start with simple sentences and go from there. We already saw some simple sentences before, but here are a couple more. Many children play computer games. We've got a subject, a verb, this is a full, complete thought. Others prefer sports. This is another complete thought. This is two simple sentences here. How can I join these sentences together to make compound sentences? This is pretty easy. We've got the same two sentences. Many children play computer games. Others prefer sports. And we just put in the middle a word like this, but. Now we've got a compound sentence. So a compound sentence has two full sentences, two complete thoughts, and a coordinating conjunction in between them. So coordinating conjunction, oh, it sounds like a big word, but no need to panic. How am I gonna remember all the coordinating conjunctions? It sounds like a lot, but it's really, really simple, especially in terms of compound sentences. There are only seven words. There are only seven coordinating conjunctions to create compound sentences. And you can remember all seven with this simple word. Fanboys. These are the first letters of all the coordinating conjunctions. They are, for, an, 
and nor, but, or, yet, so. And that's it. If you can remember that word, you can remember all the coordinating conjunctions and you can create compound sentences. So quick recap, we've got simple sentences. Many children play computer games, others prefer sports. Now we know how to make compound sentences. Many children play computer games, but others prefer sports. So now we're up to the big one, complex sentences. What are they? How do we make them? Remember how I said a compound sentence needs two complete thoughts with a coordinating conjunction in between? Well, a complex sentence needs a similar word to a coordinating conjunction, but we call these subordinating conjunctions. So a complex sentence includes a clause or a language chunk that starts with a subordinating conjunction or a relative pronoun. These are a bunch of subordinating conjunctions. So you probably already know them. You probably already use them all the time. Words like after, although, if, once, since, when, while, and here are some relative pronouns, who, which, that, where, whose. Now, actually today, I'm not really gonna look at relative pronouns. We'll do that in our other live classes, or you can work with your teacher in a one-on-one -on -one tutorial. We're just gonna look at the subordinating conjunctions. Here are the two simple sentences from before. Now, if I wanna join these two sentences together to create a complex sentence, I need to use a word from the box above. Look through those words. Which words could join these two sentences? So we're looking here for conjunctions that show contrast. And there's more than one. So hopefully you noticed these words, although, even though, though, whereas, and while. These are good conjunctions to show contrast. So we can start the sentence with the subordinating conjunction like this. Although many children play computer games, others prefer sports. And notice that there is a comma here. So when you start with a subordinating conjunction, you always need a comma after the first clause. Or we can put the subordinating conjunction in the middle. Many children play computer games, whereas others prefer sports. I haven't put a comma here, but it is sometimes possible to pop a comma in this place as well. You can see how subordinating conjunctions show a relationship between the two parts of the sentence. And the subordinating conjunctions should do this in a variety of ways. They might be showing a time connection or a contrast connection or a conditional connection. So that's the first thing that I want you to look at now. Here's the list from the other page. And I want you to take 30 seconds and put each subordinating conjunction in the right column. Are they showing a relationship of time, of contrast, of reason, or condition? I'll do the first one, it's after. After is showing a time relationship. For example, after I got home, I cooked dinner. 30 seconds, put them in the right spot. And here they go. Time conjunctions, after, when, as, since, until, while, once, contrast, although, even though, though, whereas, while, rather than, reason, so that, as, because, in order to, and conditional, even if, provided that, if, unless, whether. And you'll notice a couple of the words fit into more than one column. Well, now that we've sorted that out, try these. I'm gonna give you some questions now, and this is where I want you to do some work. I want you to choose the right word that makes sense to create complex sentences. Ready? Choose the most suitable conjunction in these two sentences.
And here are the answers. In order to improve public health, governments and individuals must work together. Number two, gaming can have serious consequences for a child's social skills, even if their parents monitor their use. Let's do three more now. Choose the most suitable conjunction. And the answers, most children will participate in sports provided that they are encouraged and supported. Because video games are so addictive, parents need to be hyper vigilant. Schools could ban devices during class time so that screen time could be curbed. So far so good, now let's try a couple more difficult ones. This time, use the conjunction to join the two sentences together. Now remember here that you can choose whether to put the conjunction at the start of the sentence or in the middle. So I'm going to show you some possible answers, but there may be other ways to write the sentence. As gaming technology has advanced rapidly in the last decade, it is almost irresistible to young minds. And competitive sports should be encouraged among children in order to improve health, fitness and foster cooperation. So let's do two more like this. Let's check. Some children spend up to seven hours a day unsupervised, although parents often deny this. Provided that they are age appropriate, computer games can have a positive impact. And here are all four answers. Keep in mind that these are not the only answers. You maybe wrote something different and it could be correct. If you want to check, put it in the chat box, in the comment box, and a community will check for you. Now, here is a common error alert. This is something that we often see in IELTS writing. Can you see the problem in this text? Many schools have banned devices during class time. Although this is not always a pop popular policy, can you see the problem here? This word, this is the problem. Even though Although and however have a similar meaning, they're used for contrast. Grammatically, we don't use them in the same way. So you can't start a sentence, although, comma, and then put half a sentence after it. It doesn't make sense. What we need to do is join these two sentences together with this conjunction, like this. Many schools have banned devices during class time, although this is not always a popular policy. Or you can move it to the start, as we saw before. Although it is not always a popular policy, comma, many schools, and so on. So now I'm going to show you a couple of sentences. I want you to find and fix the mistake for me. Here we go.
So hopefully you identified the problems here and fixed them up like this. Cases of screen addiction are increasing because mobile devices are now so engaging. Some parents forbid the use of devices after dark while others are more lenient. Or of course you could put the conjunctions at the start of the sentences like this. So let's review. These are two simple sentences. We can make a compound sentence by putting a word from fanboys in between them. And this is a complex sentence. So now it's over to you. I'm going to give you a question and I want you to type your answer or your thoughts into the comments section. Make sure that you use some subordinating conjunctions if you're feeling confident, try some relative pronouns as well. Remember that to score band seven in IELTS writing and to avoid scoring band four, you have to use some complex sentences. So even if you don't know or you don't always use all the subordinated conjunctions, you need to be confident with at least three or four of them and make sure that you use them in your writing. So here is your question and type your answer. Do computer games have a positive or negative impact on children? You don't need to write a whole essay, just a few sentences showing me how you can use subordinating conjunctions to create complex sentences. Now, of course, for more help, jump onto e2language.com. We are 100% online test preparation. You can submit your writing and your speaking, get some feedback from our ex-examiners and our expert team of teachers. You might like to book a one-on-one -on -one tutorial and you can go through your writing um, in depth and in detail. And of course, you can join our live group classes. They are running twice a day and they are a fantastic way to work on your grammar and your vocab and your test skills as well. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment and share. And I'll see you next time on our E2 Task of the Week. Bye.